Hey guys, I wanted to make this really quick video as a supplement and even a replacement to the video that I posted last regarding the latest information with COVID-19 in pets. I feel like the video that I previously put out, although it pretty much has all the same information that I'm about to tell you here, could have been a little bit more succinct with the information, and I don't want anybody misconstruing the facts or at least the information that's out there right now. So here it goes. Number one, there was a report coming out of Hong Kong about a second dog that tested positive for COVID-19. Number two, the first dog that I mentioned in my first video that tested positive for COVID-19 and then was subsequently released after 14-day quarantine has died. But that dog was a 17-year-old Pomeranian. It tested negative when it was released from quarantine, and it had pre-existing medical conditions. From what I understand, it had heart and kidney issues. So it's pretty much accepted that this dog did not pass away due to any complications from COVID-19. Number three, even though these dogs tested positive for the virus and they tested multiple times through mo multiple different modes, including nasal, oral, and blood samples, there's still some speculation as to whether or not the dogs were actually infected. This next point I want to be incredibly clear about. There still is zero evidence whatsoever that suggests that a dog or cat or any other companion animal can actually become clinically ill with COVID-19, nor is there any evidence that supports that they can transfer that infection to people. The CDC and the American Veterinary Medical Association do suggest that if you are confirmed positive for COVID-19, that you distance yourself from your pets for now until there's more information, but that's out of an abundance of caution. They're not saying in any way that there's a chance that you could pass the virus onto your pet. These reports of positive cases in China may seem alarming, but I want to make absolutely clear that there is no reason to panic. There is no reason to get rid of your pets. And at this point in time right now, there is no reason to suspect that your pets could become infected or pass the virus along. I want to make that absolutely clear. Lastly, just to make sure that I didn't miss anything or if you want further information, I'm going to post several links in the description below to information coming from the American Veterinary Medical Association, IDEX, which is one of the biggest testing laboratories in the United States and has been completely involved with testing this entire time, and the Veterinary Information Network, which is a network by veterinarians for veterinarians, just to make sure that you guys are able to see the most current information without having to try to interpret what people say because sometimes even if we try to be as clear as possible it can still be really confusing. Anyway, I hope this clears a few things up. I did use this video to replace the previous video because I just want to make sure that I'm not confusing anyone or putting out any wrong signals. If anything pertinent changes, I'll make sure to post new videos. Otherwise, you guys be safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.